Okay, so what I want to do in this video is demonstrate how to create an equation of a straight line with a slope and a point. Okay, so one way of doing it is taking the y equals mx plus b form, right? This is the slope y-intercept form. Uh, so again, this is a slope. This is a y-intercept. So slope-intercept form. Uh, let's say you have a slope of negative 3 over 2, something a little challenging. And let's say you had a point of uh, 4, negative 6. Okay, and so you, you have this information, the slope and this point. How do you put it in the into your formula here? Well, this is x and y, okay? It's an ordered pair. And so let's pop in this information into here so we can find b and so we can find the formula because right now um, you have y equals mx plus b. m is what? Negative 3 over 2, but we need to find b. So let's find b. If I already have negative 3 over 2, what's y and what's x? Well, I have a point. y is what? Negative 6 equals negative 3 over 2 times x. What's x? 4 plus b, right? Uh, negative 3 over 2 times 4. Let's put a 1 over here. And then let's multiply. Let's multiply the numbers first. 3 times 4 is 12. 2 times 1 is 2. Don't forget the negative. There's an equal sign, there's a negative 6 over here, there's a plus b, okay? 2 goes into 12 how many times? 6, don't forget the negative. So we got negative 6 equals another negative 6 plus b, okay? And then in this case, how do we solve for b? We add 6, we add 6, and we get b is equal to 0. So it turns out that our formula is going to be y equals negative 3 over 2x. There it is. Now, let's try another one. Let's try the point slope form. Point slope. So that's going to be y minus y1 equals mx minus x1. Right? Why is it called point slope? Because you have your point and you have your slope. Slope this is your point. Okay, <clears throat> and you already have all the information that you need, right? Remember, you have the slope of negative 3 over 2, and remember that you have a point, right? So let me write this down over here. We have a slope of negative 3 over 2, and then you have a point of 4, negative 6, right? And this is my ordered pair, x and y. This is my only point, so I could put a 1 on the bottom. All right, so let's plug it in. Y is just Y. Take away Y1. Y1 is what? Negative 6. So I'm going to put parentheses on there. So you have a take away, a take away, but you have a negative 6. So I put parentheses. Parentheses means what? Multiply. So equals M for the slope is negative 3 over 2, right? And then parentheses. X is just X. Take away, take away, right? Take away. X1, X1 is what? 4. Okay. This looks like a lot of work, but it's not. Let's do it step by step. Two negatives make a positive, so that's why that's going to be Y. Negative times negative is positive, so that's plus 6. Okay. So two negatives make a positive, don't forget the 6. Equals. And we're going to distribute, right? So negative 3 over 2x is negative 3 over 2x. <clears throat> and then let's take care of the signs here. Negative times negative is a positive, so we don't have to deal with the signs. 3 over 2, 3 over 2 times 4. Okay? Now, that looks very familiar to some of the things that we did earlier. Okay, so... I'm going to put a 1 over here. Let's, um, let's clean this up a little bit. y plus 6 equals negative 3 over 2x. 3 times 4 is 12. 2 times 1 is 2. Don't 
Don't forget there's a plus sign in the middle. Right, keep going. Y plus six equals negative three over two x. Two goes into 12, how many times? Six, so this is gonna be plus six, okay? And then we need to solve for y, right? So I'm going to subtract six on both sides. Y is equal to negative three over two x, and six, take away six, is going to be zero. So we get the same answer, okay? So either way, you got your slope-intercept form or your slope or point-slope form can solve 